Embrace your progress, the power of self-assessment in English learning. Hello, language learners. Today, we are going to delve into a crucial part of your English learning journey, self-assessment. It's about understanding where you stand, recognizing your accomplishments, and identifying the areas that need improvement. So, let's get started. What exactly is self-assessment? In the context of language learning, it refers to the process of evaluating your own performance. It's about asking yourself how well you understand and can use English in various contexts. By consciously examining your skills and knowledge, you can better pinpoint what you've mastered and what still poses a challenge. The beauty of self-assessment is that it encourages ownership of your learning journey. When you track your progress, you become more aware of your strengths and weaknesses. It helps in setting realistic goals and learning strategies. Remember, language learning is not a race. It's a personal journey that is unique to each learner. So, embrace your progress. Celebrate your victories, no matter how small. And don't get disheartened by the areas that still need work. They are not your failings but opportunities for growth. To perform a self-assessment, start by looking at your English usage in different contexts. Think about the various skills, reading, writing, speaking, and listening. Consider situations where you've used English and reflect on your performance. For reading, can you understand different types of texts? Are there specific words or phrases that confuse you? For writing, can you convey your thoughts in written English? Do you struggle with grammar or spelling? For speaking, can you hold a conversation in English? Are you confident in your pronunciation and vocabulary? For listening, can you comprehend spoken English in various accents and speeds? Do you find it difficult to follow conversations or understand certain words? Jot down your observations. They will help you understand your progress and areas that need attention. Now that you've identified your strengths and weaknesses, it's time to use these insights for improvement. Use your strengths to boost your confidence and motivation. As for weaknesses, don't see them as obstacles, but rather as areas for improvement. Set specific, achievable goals to work on these areas. Remember, every step forward, no matter how small, is progress. That's a wrap on the importance and process of self-assessment in English learning. Always remember, your learning journey is uniquely yours. Embrace it own it, and most importantly, enjoy it. Use self-assessment as a tool to guide your path, and you'll find yourself growing in confidence and proficiency. So, keep learning, keep assessing, and keep progressing. Until next time, happy learning!